Hello, hello, grade 12. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at organic chemistry, structural isomers. What are structural isomers? Structural isomers are compounds with the same molecular formulae, but different structural formulae. We have three types of structural isomers, and they are chain isomers, positional isomers, and functional isomers. What are chain isomers? Chain isomers are compounds with the same molecular formula and belong in the same homologous series but have different types of chains. Now let's look at an example between butane and 2-methylpropane. Now the first thing you want to look at when, when checking isomers is that your compounds have the same molecular formula. And how do we check that? Now you come to this compound. You count how many carbon atoms are there. It's one, two, three, four. What about this one? It's one, two, three, four. Hence we have C4. What about the hydrogen atoms? That's four, eight, nine, ten. This side, this is three, six, nine, ten. So we have H10. So that's C4, H10. Same molecular formula. But their chains are different. This is a straight chain and this is a branched chain. And those are your chain isomers. Now let's look at another example. We have pentane and two dash methyl butane. Now how many carbon atoms are here? Five. What about this side? Five also. Let's count the hydrogen atoms. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What about this side? That's 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? So same molecular formula, but different types of chains. Last example, we have 2-methylbutane and 2-2-dimethylpropane. Now, how many carbon atoms? We can confirm that there are five again. How many carbon atoms? That's five again. Hydrogen atoms, that's three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. So we have the same molecular formula, but different types of chains. Now, let's look at Positional isomers. Positional isomers are compounds with the same molecular formula and belong in the same homologous series but have different positions of the functional group. That could be your substituent or your side chain. Now let's look at an example between 1-chloropentane and 2-chloropentane. With positional isomers, again we first confirm. Is the molecular formula the same? We have five carbon atoms, five carbon atoms, 11 hydrogen atoms, 11 hydrogen atoms. Then we have one chloroatom, one chloroatom. That's chlorine. Then what is different with this one is the position of the functional group, the position of the substituent. Here you can see that the chloro the chlorine is attached to the first carbon, but here the chlorine is attached to the second carbon. Hence, we have positional isomers. The position of the substituent is not the same. Another example, we have but-1-in and but-2-in. Now, the molecular formula is the same for carbon atoms, four carbon atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, eight hydrogen atoms. But what is different here? Let's look at the functional group, the double bond here. The double bond on this one on but1in is attached to the first carbon. But the double bond on this one is attached on the second carbon. Now those are positional isomers. Same molecular formula, but different positions 
of the functional group. Last example, we have 2 dash methyl pentane and 3 dash methyl pentane. Now, what is different with this one? Um, here, the position of the methyl group. So, if we start counting from this side, we have 1, 2. The methyl group is on the second carbon. What about this side? If we start counting from either side, we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's 3 dash methyl pentane. The methyl group is on the third carbon, right? But now, is the molecular formula the same? How many carbon atoms? We have 6. How many carbon atoms? 6. How many hydrogen atoms? If you can count all this, that's 14. Count all this, that's 14. Same molecular formula, but different positions of the substituent. O, oh, the last one. Now we have butan 1 all. How many carbon atoms here? That's 4. How many carbon atoms? That's 4. How many hydrogen atoms? 9. How many hydrogen atoms? 9. Not including this one, of course. Then we have the OH. We have the OH. That's the hydroxyl group. So what's different with this one is the position of the hydroxyl group. Is the position of this OH. This OH here is, is on carbon number one, but this OH here is on carbon number two. And that's it for your positional isomers. Now let's look at functional isomers. Functional isomers are compounds with the same molecular formula but belong in different homologous series and have different functional groups. Note with this one, the compounds have to belong in different homologous series. Now you can see with this one we have propanal which belongs where? In the aldehyde homologous series. And we have propanone which belongs where? In the ketone homologous series. Now let's confirm that the molecular formula is the same. How many carbons? Three. How many carbons? Three. How many hydrogens? That's six. How many hydrogen atoms? That's six. Oxygen atoms? One. Only one oxygen atom. So we have C3H6O. Now, what's different with this one? We know that if the double bond oxygen is attached to the first carbon, that gives us our formal group. So we have different functional group. And if this double bond oxygen is attached on the carbon that is in between other carbons, meaning the central carbon, we have a what? A carbonyl group. So different functional groups. Same molecular formula, but different functional groups and they belong in different homologous series. Let's look at this one. Now here we have methyl ethanoate and propanoic acid, which of course they belong in different homologous series. This one belongs in the ester homologous series and this one belongs in the carboxylic acid homologous series. Now how many carbon atoms? That's three. How many carbon atoms here? That's three. How many hydrogen atoms? That's six. How many hydrogen atoms? That's also six, including this one. And then how many oxygen atoms? That's two. And also here, that's two. So our, our molecular formula is the same, C3H6O2. But what is different here? With this one, the functional group here is that of the ester. And here, the functional group is that of the carboxylic acid, which is the carboxyl group. So the functional group is not the same and they belong in different homologous series, but they have the same molecular formula. Now, a quick way to memorize that one is cake, which means carboxylic acids and esters that have the same molecular formula are functional isomers, and aldehydes and ketones that have the same molecular formula are functional isomers.